Athletes, listen up. Have you ever heard of hyponatremia? It's a rare condition, but one that you need to know about. The condition involves drinking way too much water, so much water that it depletes sodium and dilutes your blood. Now the result, seizures, coma, even death. Dr. Don Wilbur, the medical director of Global Health, joins us to talk about it. Thanks for being here. Thank you, guys. Okay, so let's, what is hyponatremia? Hyponatremia what you're talking about is salt mm -hmm. or sodium of, mm -hmm. of salt and it's an electrolyte like your blood carries lots of electrolytes that's part of the way we function it carries all kinds of other things proteins fats mm -hmm. blood cells to carry oxygen and so forth well the sodium is very important as far as the function of your body and if you lower the sodium mm -hmm. level in your in your blood then things don't function well and that's when you get into the lethargy cramps even seizures uh -huh. and even death. So you don't want to let your sodium level drop. The way it's dropping, what we're talking about here is in, in athletes, is by diluting it too much. Mm -hmm. okay. I take in too much regular water and I dilute the sodium so the sodium level drops, thus hypo. Okay. Uh, okay. So hyponatremia is a low sodium level and it can be very injurious. It happens in these athletes that are that are uh, participating in the sports and maybe losing some electrolytes or maybe over drinking. And the other place it happens is in these contests that people have where they drink lots of water. Uh -oh. And that it can happen with them too. They've been different contests on radio stations where they drank a lot of water and, and people have had a bad outcome. Yes. Okay, so we're talking about consuming too much water. How do you know if too much is too much? Well, all things in moderation. <laughs> I mean, uh, you don't go out and drink a gallon of water. I mean, nobody would right, do that. Right. So what seems normal? And, and once again, we're talking about the only people that are at risk are people that are doing four-hour marathons, not a child that goes out and plays an hour sport or the guy mm -hmm. that goes out and mows his lawn. Mm -hmm. Those people are more likely to get just regular dehydration. I lose too much fluid okay. and realize sweat is dilute. There's not really a lot of salt in sweat, so mm -hmm. you're not losing a lot of salt. You're losing more water. So you replenish that with just regular water. Okay. Okay. One of the things we always worry about as pediatricians with sports drinks is there's always been way too much sugar in the sports yes. drinks. Yeah. And so people that get into, oh, I drink Gatorade, this is good for my kids, mm -hmm. it's a sports drink. Well, no, it's not. It's not really good. Water is a lot better in general for kids. What if you have, like, water and maybe you add a few pretzels every now and then if you're going to be doing something for right. extended periods of time. Is that enough salt? Yeah, you're loading up on salt ahead of time. Eat some salted peanuts, eat some pretzels, something like that, and you get a little bit of salt ahead of time. Once again, all things in moderation. I don't think you're going to take way too much salt. It'd make you sick. So use some common sense either way. Yeah, use common sense. Everything that always in moderation. Works. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. My pleasure.